Hello YouTube. Welcome to another edition of Run Level Zero. I am your host, and it's Zero. Boys and girls, I thought today we'd do my first desktop review. And we're going to be talking about the LXLE desktop. That's the Lubuntu or Lubuntu Extra Life Extension. This is a based on Lubuntu 12.04, uh, which is not an official Ubuntu, or at the time it wasn't an official, an official Ubuntu remix, um, but it is a remix of Ubuntu using the LXDE desktop, which is lightweight and very fast. Um, the developers of LXLE have aimed their distro at aging systems, that is, those PCs that maybe you're getting a little too old to run Windows, um, running a little bit slower on Windows. Instead of throwing that old PC out, you can breathe some new life into it by using something like LXLE. Uh, LXLE, again, stands for Lubuntu Extra Life Extension. Now, it is going to be rebranded when 14.04 of Ubuntu comes out, and at that time they're going to call it the LXDE Extra Luxury Edition. Um, and they aim this to be a kind of drop-in replacement for Windows or Mac or another OS. And to that, to that end, they have really uh, gone out of their way to create desktop layouts that would be more comfortable for somebody coming over something to provide something that's familiar uh, many of the many times somebody is you know people that are, that are trying to convert over from another operating system can be kind of scared off of Linux because some of the desktops can be radically different there's there's a big relearning curve in some of these um, so the makers of LXLE have created these what they're calling desktop paradigms uh, which is simply a, a restructuring of their desktop of, of, of the layout to try to make it more familiar to people. There's one that resembles Mac, there's one that resembles even uh, Ubuntu's Unity and a more Windows-esque layout um, and I think they did a pretty good job at it. Being based on Lubuntu with that LXDE desktop, it is very fast as you're about to see. Now I have it installed on my system in a virtual box. I've given it one processor, only 60 megabytes for video RAM, and only two gigs of uh, RAM to run on. So I was I ran it as my primary desktop for about a week, and I must say I was very impressed as you're about to see. This thing, from boot to being logged in on the internet, usually occurs in less than 40 seconds. I can boot this thing and be online in less than a minute, and that's very impressive to me. Now, at the splash screen, and you can see that was really quick, but at the login screen here, the standard desktop is El Ubuntu, but they have three other paradigms that you can try to uh, emulate another uh, desktop environment, the OS X, the Unity, and what they're calling G2. But to be honest, I really like the standard El Ubuntu layout. It's very uh, user-friendly, it's very intuitive. And on login, you'll be able to see that you're greeted, of course, with a login sound. Um, but you're greeted with the standard LXDE layout, which is very, most people would be familiar with. The, uh, the panels, the menus are very intuitive, uh, laid out to be user friendly, like most uh, Linux distributions are. They did add an auto hide quick launch panel on the side here, which I found very handy. So it puts your most used applications right at your fingertips. You have your file browser. They have Catfish uh, Searcher here. Uh, Firefox is the web browser. They use Claws for the email. Uh, you have Pigeon, uh, LibreOffice, Osmo, Gaidec Music Player. This was actually using LXLE was the first time I was exposed to Gaidec 
and I was very impressed by it. Um, it's a really nice music player, and it it comes with Shoutcast pre-configured on it, which gives you instant access to over 5,000 free internet radio stations that are broken down by genre, which, you know, that was, that was really nice. Uh, you have your settings menu, uh, task manager, and the El Ubuntu Software Center. Now, in my opinion, the El Ubuntu Software Center is among the best software centers out there. It's fast, it's lightweight, I believe you can install it on a system for less than 12 megabytes. I think it runs about eight, eight and a half megabytes, which is awesome. And the feel of this thing is like a hybrid of Synaptic and the Ubuntu Software Center. And what I mean by that, like, like the Ubuntu Software Center, you can search for a package, but they're also grouped. So you have all your internet packages, your office packages, they're all grouped together. So in that, in that regard, the El Ubuntu Software Center is like the standard Ubuntu Software Center. But when you search and you find the packages you want, you can select the package, add it to an app basket, and then continue to search. So say you want to install three or four different titles, you just add them all to the basket. Then you go to the basket and install everything at once. You put in your password one time and it installs them all. So in that regard, it's kind of like uh, Synaptic. But I really like it. It's lightweight and it's very responsive. The other software that it comes installed with, under accessories, you have Clam Antivirus, which I'm glad to see, you know, not, in my opinion, not enough Linux distributions come with antivirus pre-installed. And you'll say, well, zero. That's because uh, Linux is immune to, to the vast majority of viruses, which is true. But the antivirus there is not, in my opinion, to protect you, the Linux user. If you're like me, you still have a lot of family and a lot of coworkers that are stuck on those other operating systems that are not immune to viruses. And the last thing that I would want is to send an email unknowingly send an infected email to one of those users that are not immune to viruses. I don't want to pass on an infected file or photo or email unknowingly. So it's nice to be able to scan my stuff before I send it on so that I know that I'm not infecting my family and friends. Um, Fast Forecast is installed on here which is pretty nice. It has a uh, nice task taskbar uh, uh, integration there. Uh, uses PC Man FM for the uh, a very lightweight file manager. Not my favorite, but uh, it, it it works. Just the standard G Edit. Um, there's an image viewer. This random wallpaper comes configured, and there are fifty about fifty wallpapers already on the system. Um, if you like your wallpaper changing at random as you're logged in, fine. If not, you can turn it off. Uh, it changes the wallpaper randomly while you're logged in, and whenever you log in, it gives you a random wallpaper to start with. So some people may find that annoying. Um, lots of games pre-installed. For graphics, you do have uh, the GIMP installed on there, so that's nice, as well as Shotwell, which is a very nice program. Uh, under Internet, you do have Claws, like we said, and Firefox. Um, XChat uh, IRC clients are on here. You have the LibreOffice Suite, which I found very nice. Uh, Abbey Word is a good program, but for an, a full-fledged desktop, I want a more robust bust Office Suite, and LibreOffice is awesome. So I'm glad that that's installed on there. Most LXDE-based systems don't have such a robust Office Suite. Uh, you have Audacity installed, uh, Brassero, like we've already said, talked about Gaia Deck, uh, and OpenShot. WinFF on here is on here, which means FFmpeg is installed, which is really good if you want to do screencasting or, or converting uh, multimedia files. Under System Tools, you do have BleachBit installed, as well as a backup manager, and the firewall is installed and configured for uh, UFW. 
I like that. That's really nice. Um, all in all, this is a very lightweight, fast, responsive system, but at the same time, it's very robust. Like I said, I ran it as my primary desktop for about a week. Um, I really like it. It's, it's very lightweight, very fast. I really have no complaints about this. I think LXLE really hit it out, the, out of the ballpark on this one. Um, I can't wait to see what they're going to do next year with 14.04. As a drop-in replacement for the other operating systems, somebody new coming to Windows, I think you can't go wrong with LXLE. Um, it's not as robust as some of your, your larger distributions, but you know what? It has a good look and feel. It's stable. I didn't have any crashes. I didn't have any problems. It worked well. I, I ran it in the virtual environment, but I also ran it as an installed operating system, and, and both times I had nothing but positive experience. So yes, I would recommend this to family and friends for them to try. Well, this has been in at zero for my first desktop review. Please subscribe, rate, and comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if there's a uh, another distribution out there you would like me to try out and review for you. Thank you again for joining me for this episode of Run Level Zero, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.